special factoring the difference of two squares. For the special equation a squared minus b squared, we are going to take the factors of a squared, which are a times a, and the special factors of b squared, which is b times b. Your job as a student is to recognize the perfect squares. To the right, I have the list of perfect squares 1 through 20. 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9, 7 squared is 49, 12 squared is 144, up to 20 squared being 400. When we recognize that we have the difference of two squares, two perfect squares being subtracted, we take those factors by starting with our parentheses sets. We put the first factor in, a times a is a squared. We place in the second factor, b times b, is b squared. And for the difference of two squares, the signs in the parentheses are always plus and minus. So the factors of a squared minus b squared are a plus b, a minus b. For the situation x squared minus 36, we know that x squared is x times x. We recognize 36 as 6 times 6. We start with our parentheses. We place our first factor in x times x, our second factor in 6 times 6, and the signs are always plus and minus. For the difference of two squares, x squared minus 36, the factors are x plus 6, x minus 6. Special factoring for the perfect cubes. For the situation a cubed plus b cubed, we recognize that a cubed is a times a times a. b cubed is b times b times b. Your job as a student, again, is to recognize the perfect cubes. To the right, I have a list of the perfect cubes 1 through 10, where 1 cubed is 1, 4 squared is 64, 7 squared is 343, up to 10 squared is 1,000. When you recognize a perfect cube, you start by placing your parentheses. Following the parentheses, we place the first factor in. a cubed is a. b cubed is b. We square the first term, a squared. Square the last term, b squared. And multiply the two terms to get the middle term, a times b. To figure out our signs, we use the acronym SOAP. S-O-A-P. Same, opposite, always positive. The first sign is always the same as the original sign in the, in the statement. The second sign is always opposite of the sign in the original statement. And the last sign is always positive. So for a cubed plus b cubed, the factors are a plus b times the quantity a squared minus ab plus b squared. For the statement a cubed plus 64, we have to recognize that x cubed is x times x times x. 64 is 4 times 4 times 4. We start with our parentheses. We place in the first factor, x. Place in the second factor, 4. Square the first factor, which gives us x squared. Square the second factor, 4 squared is 16. Multiply the two factors to get the middle term, 4 times x. Using the acronym SOAP, same sign first, positive, opposite sign second, negative, and the last sign is always positive. The factors for x cubed plus 64 is x plus 4 times the quantity x squared minus 4x plus 16. When the cube, perfect cubes are being subtracted, a cubed minus b cubed, we again recognize that a cubed is a times a times a, and b cubed is b times b times b. For this situation, we begin with our parentheses. We then place in our first factor, a, our second factor, b. We square the first factor, a squared. Square the second factor, b squared. Multiply for the middle, a times b. Again, we use the acronym SOAP. And the first sign must match the sign from the original statement, negative. The second sign is always the opposite sign of the original statement, positive. And in this case, always positive at the end. So the perfect cube, a cubed minus b cubed, factors out to a minus b times the quantity a squared plus ab 
plus b squared. For the situation x cubed minus 27, we recall from the list of perfect cubes that 27 is 3 times 3. Therefore, x cubed is x times x times x, and 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. To factor this perfect cube, we begin with our parentheses set. We then place in our first factor, x, place in our second factor, 3. We square the first factor, x squared, square the second factor, 9, and multiply to get the middle term, 3 times x. Again, the acronym SOAP tells us that the first sign must be the same, negative. The second sign is the opposite sign. Therefore, for this situation, it's positive. And the last sign is always positive. SOAP, same, opposite, always positive. For the perfect cubed, x cubed minus 27, the factors are x minus 3 times the quantity x squared plus 3x plus 9.